Byron, you better run. Because I heard the Empress of Tomorrow doesn't like you. Oh, no. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Byron, you are definitely not ready for Asuka. Oh, hold on, Michael. Maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Asuka. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Asuka. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, nope, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Asuka's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw women's title, SmackDown women's title, NXT women's title, women's tag team title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. Saxon, when's the last time you took flowers to the gravesite of those detestable, inflatable friends? I beg your and pardon. from San Jose, California, Bailey! Hey, despite what you think about Bailey, there's no denying what she's accomplished. The first Grand Slam champion in the women's division. And yeah, there's also no denying that Bailey has no problem stepping on anyone along the way. Because Bailey thanks herself for all of her accomplishments. And you can't argue with the results. Bailey knows how to win. Corey, you think she can be great on commentary with you? I have my doubts, but let's just have Bailey stick to the ring where she's at her best. I mean, this table already has its role model. Thank you. And here comes the man. From Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Yeah, the man never stops running her mouth, but she's got a bad habit of backing it up. Becky's about to stake her claim as the man. Yeah, I don't see her claim being denied here tonight. Here's the total package of women's wrestling. The Glamazon. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Really a trailblazer in sports entertainment. Well, I am looking forward to seeing what Beth Phoenix has in store here tonight. The Glamazon steps into the ring tonight with one thing on her mind, annihilation. Oh, well, you're looking at the future right here. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. 
Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron. You understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. One half of the Australian duo known as the Iconics. And representing the Iconics from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. You know, there's just something about Billy Kay that I don't trust. And what is that, Byron? She seems so disingenuous. I mean, she smiles to my face, but I feel like she's making fun of me under her breath. She is. Billy Kay, extremely beautiful, extremely dangerous. Byron, I talked to Billy Kay about you, and her quote was, he's too dumb to function. I find that hard to believe. Listen, I didn't say it. I was just repeating what I was told by my source. Good journalist. Uh, guys, I guess we can say welcome to Alexa's Playground. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Play! It sounds ridiculous, guys, but Alexa Bliss is seemingly invulnerable since she embraced the darkness. And she's turned her back on her former allies, except for that, that Lily doll. The same Lily doll that's right underneath your chair. Wait, Saxon? what? What, are you serious right now? Oh, you scared me, Corey. Byron, is the old Alexa still in there? I mean, I'm kind of wondering, but I don't really want to find out myself. And she seems happy. And she's also about to turn the ring into her own personal playground. truly show us the way. And their opponent, representing the way, from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. This woman's held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles alongside her quote-unquote daughter, Indy Hartwell. Interesting, unique relationship, but effective, no matter how you look at it. One of the best high-flying women in all of WWE. But now Candice LeRae has added a level of ruthlessness that comes with joining the way. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal, making her way to the ring from the Queen City. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. 
Saxon, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the Queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on road duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. A once-in-a-lifetime talent, here comes China. And from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China! China has had success at WrestleMania. Remember, Byron, she won the Women's Championship here. Yeah, WrestleMania, the only stage worthy of the legendary China. She's held both the Intercontinental and Women's Championships in WWE. And tonight, China looks to add to her legacy. Here comes trouble. A superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. Ruthless attitude and ruthless kicks. Half of the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Yeah! You know, it's hard to think at one time Dakota Kai was the captain of Team yeah, Kick. at one with... time, Byron, at one time. That included the entire WWE Universe, but how things have changed. Dakota is no longer the captain of Team Kick. She's the leader and the ruler of Team Kick. And Saxton, you're off. Dana Brooke is in action. From Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke, certainly one of the hardest workers in the women's division. Always trying to learn new skills and techniques to better her game. There's no doubt she has beauty, there's no doubt she has power, but she also has brains. Did you guys know that Dana Brooke has never lost a match on the same day that Byron Saxton had a date? Really? That's right. Amazing. Byron, when was your last date? None of your business. Exactly. Here comes the war goddess, the Sheena. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. A woman who reinvented herself with her return to NXT and found a compelling ally in Shotzi Blackheart, winning the women's tag team titles. Amber Moon always game, always ready, always focused. The first competitor to ever win both the women's title and women's tag team titles in NXT. Something tells me Ember's Raw is about to be served tonight.
Io Shirai, one of the best women high flyers in history. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai! One of the most decorated competitors in Japanese women's wrestling history. And Io Shirai has continued that success in NXT and WWE. Already one of the best women competitors in NXT history. Well on her way towards making the same mark on the rest of WWE as well. From fabulous to untouchable. Here comes a self-proclaimed Emil's beautiful woman in all of WWE. Saxton, how many times do I have to tell you many other people make the same proclamation? This is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. That is my unbiased opinion. Yeah, sure it is. And from Staten Island, New York, Carmella! WrestleMania has just become untouchable. Come on, let's go! I'll give Carmella credit. She has quite the WrestleMania history. Even competed in the first ever SmackDown Women's Championship match at WrestleMania. Keep going, Saxton. And, okay, also won the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal in 2019. Corey, you happy? Some, no. some might even say she's the most beautiful woman in all of WrestleMania. Some, some might say that. Say it, Cole. Just say it. She's scary, all right. The queen of the Scots. And the best high flyer in the women's division. Oh, some will say that. And their opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, the NXT UK Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray. I cannot believe that this woman was actually NXT UK oh. Women's Champion for 649 days. That's ridiculous. Oh, you better believe it, Mike. In fact, Kaylee Ray has referred to herself as the, quote, forever champion. That's pretty incredible. It is incredible. Well, forever could all come to a screeching halt tonight. Look who's here! The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal making her way to the ring from Moscow, the Ravishing Russian, Lana! Incredible heart. She never gives up, even after being put through tables for nine consecutive weeks. But Lana's fighting heart will not be silenced. Hey, I gotta admit, she inspires me. To what, watch grass grow? More than that, Corey. She Let inspires me, me. Go on a date? Hey, hey, look, Lana inspires me to be my best self. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! One of the only good things to ever come out of the state of New Jersey. Jersey tough. There's no doubt about that. Successful career coming in WWE.
Here comes the powerhouse blonde bombshell. And from Yorktown Heights, New York, the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose. Now, formerly God's greatest creation, right, Corey? That's right. But even the man himself makes mistakes. Uh, so judgmental, all because Mandy had a slight slip up at WrestleMania, Corey. You fell out of love with her. No doubt the highest profile win for Mandy Rose when she defeated her former partner, Sonya Deville, in a loser leaves WWE match at SummerSlam. Oh, relax, Corey. No, she's a married woman. Listen, just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you can't look at the menu. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. Maurice had one of the longest championship reigns of all time. An A-lister in her own right. Why does Maurice always feel it's necessary to inform the world that they're not allowed in her personal space? Because Maurice feels necessary to inform the entire world that they're not as good as she is. There's a humble attitude. It's the sad facts of life, Saxton. She has a very questionable attitude. There's nothing to question, Byron. The HBIC. Head batty in charge. And Mia is always ready for a fight. And from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two May Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. They're on their feet for Mickey. And from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James, a six time champion. Great in-ring IQ, exceptional grappling skills for Mickey James. Owns one of the most devastating strikes in the women's division, the mid-kick. Might have one ready for her opponent here tonight. Well, she has one ready for you. Guys, you better get ready for the woman's right. And from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Saxton, you ought to get a woman like Lacey Evans to keep you in line. I'm good just the way I am. But I, I'll tell you what, her questionable personality traits aside, Lacey Evans has had some pretty incredible victories against top talent like Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae. A true lady with grace and confidence. How can you not love Lacey? Hey, Michael, Corey. What? It's glow time! 
I'm surprised you enjoy this this much, Saxton, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. It blows like having a nightlight, so it's okay. And their opponent from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. He's a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion and one of the best all-around athletes in the entire WWE Universe. But she continues to back everything she's done in the past up with substance here in WWE. Yeah. To be fair, Cole, Naomi's entrance has the same effect on Byron Saxton that a laser pointer does on a cat. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal making her way to the ring. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! A multi-time women's champion, a reality star, a third-generation superstar. What an incredible career for this young lady. You know, the pink and black aren't the only qualities that Natalia shares with her uncle Brett. She also has the ability to get it done on the big stage. One of the longest tenured superstars in all of the women's division. And she continues to get better with time. The irresistible force. And from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. One of the most dominant women in WWE. History physically unparalleled in the women's division. Nia Jax has imposed her will on everyone that stepped in the ring as opposition. An incredible pedigree for success for Nia Jax. She has accomplished so much in her young career in WWE. The sky is the limit. She has the pedigree. Nia Jax. And from Glasgow, Scotland. One half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. Almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Listen, guys, I'll, I'll admit it. The change in attitude recently has brought Nikki A.S.H. a lot of success. Wait, Corey, does that mean you're ready to jump on the bandwagon of Nikki A.S.H.? Absolutely A. not. Well, the change in attitude of Nikki A.S.H. has certainly helped. Oh, she's won the Money in the Bank, the Raw Women's Championship, and the Women's Tag Titles. I think we're going to see even more super heroics here tonight. Byron, it just became iconic. And representing the Iconics. From Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce is the perfect picture of grace and elegance. Right, and then the bell rings, and she can get downright nasty. She loves the spotlight. She loves all the attention. And she is getting it all here on pay-per-view. Well, luckily, the spotlight loves her just as much. And Peyton deserves all the attention and adulation she gets. That's pretty impressive.
Look, Peyton Royce extremely talented. Her attitude, that's something else. She's been nothing but sweet to me, Saxton. A massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. It's hard to name a faster ascent to the top of NXT. Just over a year after her debut, she became NXT yeah. Women's Champion. She handed Io Shirai her first singles pinfall loss in nearly two years to become NXT Women's Champion. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. You gotta find out what her workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton. Harder than yours. Hey, Byron. I think that there is a reckoning upon us. I believe you are correct, and there is destruction to follow. And from Parks Unknown, Reckoning! Here's a woman who terrorized the Performance Center as part of Retribution, breaking windows, destroying the ring, and attacking superstars. I think Reckoning is planning on that same treatment for her opponent. Bad attitude right here. Oh, that mask is scary. Her opposition should be scared. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. And from Adelaide, Australia, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Rhea Ripley. One of the most powerful women in all of WWE set a new standard of brutality in her match against Tony Storm at NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. She became the first ever NXT UK Women's Champion. You know, some would call this confidence, others Arrogance. That's the look on the face of Rhea Ripley. What we do know is that Rhea Ripley is always prepared for any kind of fight. It's boss time. The standard, the blueprint, one of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division, period. from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Sasha is no longer shy about stealing the spotlight. Well, Sasha's been a top star for quite some time, but the change in attitude earned her her SmackDown yeah. Women's Championship, her WrestleMania main event. Despite what I say about her attitude, the boss gets it done in the ring. Dare talk to her? She's intolerable. Or he's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. The following contest is an eight-woman battle royal. 
making her way to the ring from Oakland, California, Shotzi! Shotzi looks like she'd be sticky to touch. Well, she was a finalist on WWE Tough Enough back in 2015, but was medically disqualified. Fought hard to earn her way on the independent scene, recovered from that medical condition, and now she is right where she belongs here in WWE. focus on being called winner. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. Time to put your hair up and, and square up. From Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya Highly proficient and highly dangerous inside the squared circle. Sonya Deville about to square up on the big stage. Let's go! Go! Get up! Come on, let's go! Sonya Deville. Such a force in the women's division from Tough Enough in 2015 to NXT in 2017. What a name she's beginning to make for herself in the WWE Universe. Ah, oh, here comes WWE's chief brand officer, the true authority around here. And representing the awesome ones from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie Bay there's no questioning what Stephanie McMahon has done for our industry, but uh, well, some would say her personality can be abrasive at times. Go for it. You tell her that, Byron. Go tell Stephanie that she's abrasive. Uh, she seems busy right now. As tough in the ring as she is in the boardroom. Hey, Stephanie. That Tamina is a scary woman. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. Is a scary human being. One of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And from the Welsh Valleys, Keegan Knox. This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. And even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. A feel good story every time Tegan Knox competes. She added some attitude, and her new style suits her well. 
a new Tony Storm. And from Gold Coast, Australia, Tony Storm. Tony Storm still young and always improving her game. Uh, Tony really turned heads uh, by scoring three victories in the inaugural May Young Classic. Actually went on to win the finals of the 2018 May Young Classic at the first ever all women's evolution pay-per-view. The Queen of Spades is on the big stage. It was just a matter of time before Baszler got to the and grand stage. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. You know, some superstars get too consumed, too overwhelmed by the pressure and the scrutiny that comes with performing on the big stage. But when it comes to Shayna Baszler, she feels right at home. She'll punch you in the mouth and will never apologize for it. She'll make you tap out. She'll break your arm. She'll break your leg. She's the queen of spades. Dangerously proficient, ruthlessly ambitious, has no respect for the competition. And when you're this bad, why would you? Byron, go ahead and roll around in there with her. I want to see what she do to you. No, she turned no, you into no. a pretzel. I'll stay right here. Are you ready for some satisfaction? And their opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus always hungry to take on the best of the best. Always hungry to take on the absolute top competition in WWE. Stratus faction guaranteed.